the next car on our list is the Audi RS6. Um, so this is a favorite of the Europeans. Um, it only has 552 horsepower, which is the lowest in the segment. But it's still a lot. Yeah, it's still a lot. And then there's a performance model which makes 597. So. But you said favorite of the Europeans. What's wrong with the Americans? Actually, the only con of the RS6, I mean, like one of the cons is it's not sold in the U.S. Why not safety regulations? No, it's because people hate wagons in the U.S. and that's oh, the it's only a wagon? yeah. Oh, nice that's the wagon. only body style you can buy it in. It looks really nice. I think. Yeah, it looks really nice actually, and it's the favorite of the Europeans. Uh, so even though it has the lowest horsepower in the group, it has it's tied for the best acceleration, three point three seconds zero to sixty. That is good. Yeah, that is really good. And then I'm pretty sure it has like a 197 mile per hour top speed. That's only three less mistaking. than the CTSV, yeah. and this is a wagon. Yeah, this is a wagon, and it has like the least horsepower, but I do need to check on that. I'm not sure. I'm not like too sure about the top speed, but I'm pretty sure it's in that range. So it's like, is this like um, Audi RS6 is to like um, Volvo Polestar? No, so like the. Uh, RS7 is like the RS6, but the RS7 costs more, so is that's why. A wagon? No, it's like like a hatchback, oh. and it looks really good, but it wasn't included in this list because it wasn't in the price range. Mm -hmm. So that's why the Audi RS6 was in the price range. But so, what's the um, design of this? Does it just look like a? Um, yeah, it looks like a regular mm -hmm. Audi A6 wagon. It and looks like a regular it, Audi. Yeah, basically. But if you you can get a lot of cool paint colors actually, although it does cost like a lot more, but they're really cool paint colors. Um, so is this like a ripped looking wagon or just a normal sleeper? It's uh, you can pass it for a sleeper. There's some small vents and stuff, but yeah, like the Cadillac, um, it is like something only car enthusiasts or mm -hmm. people with knowledge on the topic would. Unlike me. Yeah. Um. So. How does it sound? I know this is a wagon, but... Um, the sound is pretty good. I mean, like, I wouldn't rank, rank it at, a, at the top, but it has enormous acceleration speed. Um, so sound isn't that important. Yeah, sound isn't that important, but it does sound good. People like how it sounds in, the, in Europe. It's not that loud, it's kind of quiet, but it has like this nice crackle and pop mm -hmm. to it, so it's nice. Um, so, yeah, this is a wagon, so shouldn't it have, like, a, like, a little family? Yeah, it has great interior space, great, like, um, trunk space. Um, so this a is a very family. practical family car, and that's why a lot of the Europeans like it, because you get a performance sedan, the, not sedan, wagon, and then you get, you can put, like, all your ski rack and stuff. And take you your can, kids along. Yeah, you can take your kids along. You can go off-roading a little bit. A little? I mean, like, in the snow. You could go off-roading. Yeah, because this is um, four-wheel drive. So this is, like, drive. the most practical car on the list. Yeah, the, one of the most practical cars on the list is the Audi so R6. So in this, in this list, if it was about practicality, this would get number one? And this would probably get number one, because uh, this has the biggest cargo load and everything. And um, it looks like a regular Audi wagon, so it's a very subdued, pretty luxurious inside, although it is an older car. Um, it has still, it's at the top almost, so because even though it was introduced in like 2012 and they haven't like refreshed it, they're going to refresh it soon though. Wait, so there is its interior RSX. like kind of outdated and stuff? Or? It's kind of outdated. It is still modern by today's standards because it was like out of this world when Audi it was... Audi is like yeah. ahead of its time. Yeah, Audi is ahead of this time. So when it was released, um, it was like out of this world. But now it's like a regular Audi interior. It still looks amazing inside. But um, expect a refresh soon. So that's why... Um, if you want an RS6 and you're living in Europe, um, I'm, you might have to wait if you want like a better that interior, interior. And, and stuff. Um, so the next interior is going to be like the, how the interior was like, what, six years ago? Yeah. Um, so like, can we get to the, oh wait, no, we need the safety, right? Because uh, Safety is pretty good, like four, and, four or five stars. 
and it has good braking too and it's very nice around the track too like you can like it doesn't have that camera thing oh know. yeah yeah it doesn't have the camera thing but actually the also another reason why europeans like it so much you can tune it so easily it's um the engine is very tunable it's four liters um it's a four liter v8 mm -hmm. and then um some people took it up to 800 horsepower 800 yeah and it's like what 500 yeah 552 so it's really easy to tune you can get it really fast cheap yeah cheap. yeah you can get it cheaply but of course this is a very expensive car at one so you won't be needing it for cheap because you'll be rich enough to yeah you would be rich enough obviously to buy it um so again what's his horsepower like before tuning uh, 552 but if you get the performance model which is an upcharge like it costs like 120k that's so <laughs> yeah. um, if you get 597 horsepower. I want to say that's worth it because like what 20 more horsepower for more than 20 you get almost you get 38 almost no more than that but yeah, yeah 40 horsepower perfect. more about um so yeah let's go to the pros and cons yeah, so obviously a very practical vehicle. Um, it's very luxurious, um, large. It's la yeah, large and it's super fast. It's a uh, sleeper basically because it has the lowest horsepower in the segment, but uh, it's tied for the fastest. So that's like something that's really to consider if wait, you're living the Euro. Wait, because of that, since it has such low horsepower but so fast, doesn't it get like good MPG? I know this Yeah, it does. Like it has cylinder deactivation, so that allows for maximum efficiency. So on the highway, it gets like 25 MPG. 25? Yeah, that's well, great. That's really good. Yeah, that's great. So Even in today's yeah, standards? Yeah, even in today's standards, that's really good. And um, the Audi R6, it's also... Um, yeah, practical, like I was saying before, it has a good top speed, um, nice design, it's a very restrained design, but it still has the powerfulness, and it like still the present, so yeah, it, it still looks great, even though it is a little bit out of an outdated car, um, and it sounds pretty good, I mean, like, not the best sounding vehicle, but definitely up there. Is it just like a normal looking vehicle, like? as normal as you can get not as normal as you can get of course because there has to be it's like some small differences there's like a bigger exhaust um some tiny little vents at the bumper so, so a new a bumper like sports accent yeah a little, little sports bit. accent obviously if you want you can put carbon fiber everywhere but that's your choice um wait can you do that from factory yeah oh okay uh, but of, obviously it costs extra yeah, of course. And then the cons are, it's a little bit outdated, and it's the priciest vehicle here. And it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. And plus, the saddest part, it's not sold in the U.S. Oh, man. Okay, so, um, it's second place, really, because it's not sold in the U.S., or what? I mean, it's not second place, it's third place. Uh, yeah, and really price and the, and the reason it's not sold in the US is a big factor um, but otherwise it's a really solid car if you're willing to buy this Wait. in Europe this is basically the top choice for a lot of car enthusiasts this is like when whenever people look into mid-size performance sedans the automatic answer is Audi R6 performance, yeah. performance wagons yeah um, so like how much does this car cost? I think you already went over that, but I forget. Oh, it's one hundred eleven thousand wow. dollars. So, but that's like ninety, no, eighty-seven um pounds, eighty-seven k pounds, eighty-seven thousand pounds. Mm -hmm. I don't. I only know the thousand. Mm -hmm. So the Mercedes-Benz E sixty-three. AMG S. Okay. <laughs> it's they have long names. Yeah, they have really long names. So.